Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another MIAA Student Athlete Spotlight interview. I'm here with Samantha Torres of um, Olivet College. Uh, Samantha, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So, Samantha, uh, you are a soccer player at Olivet College. Uh, what's your experience been at the D3 level, and how have you liked playing in the MIAA? One of the dreams of, um, since I was a child, that has been my dream to play for um, for college. And and to be honest with you, I I moved a, a lot when I was um, younger, and I didn't get the chance to do what others do and um, get recruited and make film. So um, I was so thankful that one of the coaches was at one of my club games, and she was actually there for somebody else, but. Um, I mean, it all worked out, and I've, I've loved every every single second of it. So you guys are playing a short – had just concluded playing a shortened season in the MIAA. What was that experience like for you as a soccer player? I, I'm honestly just grateful. I'm grateful that I was able to play. Uh, at first, I didn't know I was going to have a senior season. So, I mean, just these couple of games, even if they were a little rough, I'm so glad I um, had the opportunity to step out on the field and do what I love the most. What's a personal accomplishment you're proud of playing at all of that? Uh, building relationships. I mean, um, just for my freshman year and uh, getting to know the seniors, looking up to them, and now being a senior and having freshmen look up to me. Uh, I think that's one of my biggest accomplishments. I um, have inspired others, and I that, honestly, that's that's all I, I could have done, and, and I think that's... Uh, I'm, pr I'm pretty proud of that. How has uh, playing an athletic uh, extracurricular been instrumental in your ability to go out and do other things, uh, whether that's other hobbies, um, other interests? What have you? Um, what are some things that you have picked up along the way? Playing a sport has um, helped me balance life better. I mean, I did. Um, I also ran track my freshman sophomore year. And I became an RA, and then I started joining all these clubs. Like I didn't know who I, I don't know who I was, but I just thought, hmm, let me just pick up all these things. So definitely, just playing sports and learning to communicate with coaches and, and professors and bosses about scheduling, and um, I think that's really helped me just you know balance life and um, and how to uh, divide my energy evenly. So you know I'm able to put my all into everything. Now, uh, describe the academics and athletics balance in, in your life. How have you managed that? I mean, <laughs> I, I'm i graduating in less than a month, so I did it. And uh, I think a planner, a planner really, really helped me. Um, just writing everything down and when it's done, cross it off. And, uh, you know, I've thankfully, I've maintained really good grades to where I can, um, I can say that I, you know, I didn't let athletics um, distract me from academics. So I think a good balance and having that um, planner in hand was really good. What's some advice you have for uh, prospective athletes who may be interested in the division three um, route? What are some things that you have learned uh, that you'd like to pass on to them? I have learned that in you know, D3 is, is just another, you build a family in that. I recommend it. If you, if you love the game and, and you want to play and you might not be getting recruited by, you know, the schools that you want to, D2, D, D1, D3 and playing is just, it's, a, it, I loved it. And I would recommend it to anybody who loves the game and would want to build a, a family in the process. Samantha, thank you so much for joining me on this interview. Uh, congratulations on an excellent career at Olivet, and we w wish you all the best of luck. Thank you.